What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to create an image library where people can actually download the files without getting that crazy WebP thing. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support as we try to reach our goal of 4,000 followers. If you find anything you like, even a tiny little thing, please like, share, subscribe. It helps so much. All right, let's get that timer rolling. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to edit mode. It's like I always do about this time. You got to go into edit mode so you can be able to change things around. And then we're going to go here. We're going to get and add a web part. And we're not going to do the image gallery. No, no, no. We're going to do quick links. And we're going to change it to grid so that we can actually see it the way we want to. We're going to go to grid. And we're going to say add some links. And we're going to just upload some stuff that we got saved to our computer. We're going to just grab all this stuff. Just control A, bam. We got it all. And we're going to open. And then we're going to say add nine items. And then ba bam look at that but wait we're not done now you're gonna go ahead and republish that bad boy and you'll be able to actually download these puppies for people if you need them to be able to download it for whatever reason you want them to download boy it's taken a while to republish but you know i can just click on it open to get the big version 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 right click save image as and it's going to save as a png we just did that thing yeah all right let's slow it down and let's talk about why this is such a huge deal. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's just go back. We're going to simmer down. And we're going to, I'm going to refresh because there we go. So there we are. We've got our cool gallery. Now, it's pretty crude right now. I mean, we can add a title. I mean, there's things we can do to spruce this up. And we'll show you those things. Here's the deal, though. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like if you try and use image web part or if you use image gallery web part. Also, I don't know when this changed, but what I'm about to show you, what I'm about to show you has worked in the past as expected. And recently, I'd say within the past few months, it has changed the way that it is working. And I would love to know the answer, like a real official answer why, because anyway, I digress. So you click on the edit. All right. We're we're going to pretend that, you know, we want to add like an actual image gallery. And one of the requirements is that we want people to be able to download images from this if they want or need them. Well, you would think that an image gallery would give you that ability. I can say that in the past, image has given that ability. But let's look at image gallery. Add images. We're going to upload and we're going to grab all of these puppies right here. Okay. Smack those bad boys in there. And there we go. Okay. So a different look and feel here. Different look and feel. You can change the aspect ratio, which is cool. So let's, okay. We're thinking we're looking pretty good. Let's just stop right here before we go through the trouble of like mocking this up um, with titles and all that. So we're going to go ahead and republish. And we know if we right click save image as here we, we get the web p okay fine fine I'll, I'll take an extra click to open it up okay now i should expect to be able to save image as whatever it is pmp jpeg but i get web p file okay um i don't deal with web p files and yeah so pretty useless for an end user and so that's why we have to use quick links instead of the image web part or the image gallery. If anyone else is experiencing something different, please let us know. If you also recall, or maybe this is the, the Mandela effect, because I know that I had some image web parts on a page and folks were able to open the image by clicking left click and then right click save as and it would save as JPEG, PNG, etc. So we're going to stop talk. Well, Okay, fine. If you want to see how you can spruce it, maybe you don't want, maybe you want it read only, and that's fine. Um, you don't want people to be able to download. Uh, so then you can go back here into the image gallery. Okay, you can add a title, and we'll call this one an actual image gallery because it is the image gallery web part. Okay, 
Uh, let's look at the properties. Okay, select images, dynamically display from a library. That's that's kind of cool. Um, haven't played with that, but maybe we can do another video. If you want to see more about that, let me know. Uh, we got grid, brick, yeah, that, okay. Or carousel, yeah. All right, and then, oh, in the carousel we have automatically cycle, seconds between, you know, your typical carousel type stuff. All right, so there you go. That's, that's how you mock up the image gallery. But here's quick links, and so we're going to name, we're going to title it uh, a quick links image gallery. All right, so quick links web part is just a web part that's going to give you a hyperlink that points to something. We are lucky that if it is a pointing to an image that is saved in SharePoint, uh, it is going to give you a very nice looking thumbnail. And from that thumbnail, you'll be able to open it, right click, and save the actual file in a format that you can actually use. So let's continue mocking this up. We're going to select the image. We'll go to the edit. Uh, we could change it if we want. We can make it open in a new tab, which is kind of slick. And give it a title. Give it a sweet title. Uh, auto select thumbnail. That's what makes it show as the image that it is. Or you can put a custom image or grab something from the library. But why would you want to do that? I mean, maybe you would. Filter, if you want to, you know, it must be enabled to use audience targeting. It must be enabled in the Quick Links web part. So we could talk about that. If you want to know more, let me know and we can cover that as well. All right. So there you go. Once you get this done, you republish it and you can click on your sweet title. You can right click save as and it's going to save as like a decent file type that you can actually use for stuff. All right. There you go, y'all. Hope this has been helpful. If you found anything you liked or that was remotely helpful, please click the like, subscribe, share. We appreciate you. We want to get to that 4,000 follower mark, and we can do it because of you. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup.